Blisters in concrete are hollow and unnoticeable nodules observed on the concrete surface. Their size range between 1 and 3 inches in diameter based on the extremity of the defect. The construction practices that result in entrapment of air or water bubbles below the concrete surface are the major causes of blisters formed in concrete. In general, the main cause of entrapped air on the concrete surface is improper finishing. Prevention of blisters in concrete is achieved by putting forward measures to reduce these accumulation of air bubbles and excess water on concrete surface. How to identify blisters in concrete? Blisters in concrete are observed as dense, troubled skin of mortar having a thickness of 3 mm with voids underlying it. As shown in the figure, these air or water bubbles move around under the concrete surface during the whole traveling process. But if you would have noticed, these blisters generally occur just after the completion of finishing operation. So in areas where there is no light, a small blisters are very tough to identify. In such cases, these are identified only when they crack under heavy traffic loads. What causes blisters in concrete? Number one, improper vibration of concrete. Over vibration can result in bleeding water or a layer of mortar forming over the concrete surface, while under vibration cannot completely throw out the excessive air in concrete in an efficient manner. So both the conditions are undesirable. Number two, improper finishing tool for concrete. The finishing tool or the surface tool that is used for finishing the concrete merely depends on what kind of concrete surface that you are working on. For example, the floating tool that you use must be kept as flat as possible to avoid improper usage or accumulation of air under the concrete surface. Number three, high evaporation of moisture. This is caused by the high temperature conditions of the construction site. Excessive evaporation of the bleeding water brings a look of premature finishing that would result in starting the next finishing operation. But in reality, the bleeding water and the air bubbles are still underlying within the concrete layer. The appearance is due to the high temperature conditions around the site. Number four is improper subgrade conditions. If the subgrade is cool, the top layer of the concrete surface dries fast while the bottom layer is wet. This gives a wrong interpretation and tends to perform finishing operations by the workers. Number five, structural features of the structure. With the increase in thickness of the concrete structure, the setting time also increases. So this also increases the time for the entrapped air and the bleeding water within the concrete structure to come over the top of the surface and get away. Number six is improper concrete mix. A concrete with less cementitious material bleeds rapidly and tend to delay the finishing process. Number seven, improper use of air entrainment in concrete. Giving air entrainment insufficiently to concrete reduces the bleeding chances and gives an appearance that is concrete is ready to finish but it results in premature finishingly to concrete, reduces the bleeding chances and gives an appearance that is concrete is ready to finish, but it results in premature finishing. Keeping in mind these causes of blister formation on concrete surface, you will bring up a concrete surface that is free from blisters and any other air bubble or bleeding issues in future. If you like this video, let us know by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel, Civil Engineering Fanatics.